Dude, that kid's always trying to film me. I don't know who he is. I'm Javier Castro and I'm gonna teach you guys how to nollie flip. Hopefully you guys learn as well as I did. All right, so to teach you guys the basics of a nollie flip, you're gonna make sure you have a decent nollie because nollie is definitely really important in this. Usually, you don't need the prior trick, but this is definitely the main thing. So just make sure you have a decent nollie. Let me show you the foot placements for one, and then I'll show you the foot placements for a nollie flip. All right, my board may be a little snap right now, but don't worry about that. Still got things on here. Uh, good placement for a nollie, you're gonna make sure you have a secret pop area. I've talked to a few pros, and they've let me know that you gotta get pop, good pop in there. You don't need on here, you don't need to be over here. If you get over here, those are all bad areas, you're gonna start kind of 180 the board's gonna kind of turn. And for your back foot, it's gonna be at least your toes hanging off, at least that's what I do. That's just for a decent nollie. But for a nollie flip, you're gonna peep your foot a bit lower, kind of like a switch flip. Kind of like, think of a regular kick flip, turn it around, and just gonna keep going the same way, you know what I mean? But step by step, you need to make sure you get a higher pop. If you don't pull it, Nolly, if you don't pull it back, it's just gonna fly that way. It's gonna be a scary trick. So I'm gonna show you the dangers of a nolly flip and how to mess up, or how to not mess up at least. Uh, the dangers of a nolly that you're gonna find out are sometimes when you nolly, if you don't pull it back, it's just gonna fly forward. And, and if you bail from that, it's gonna be a straight popsicle or something. You don't really wanna do that. You're gonna make sure you have a decent nolly so you know how to pull it back. And let me show you a few so you understand, right? All right, the difference between a nollie and a nollie flip are gonna help so much because they're so similar, but it's just that big of a difference. All right, for a nollie, make sure you have a good one, at least keep it around there, around the length of the board so you still get the good flick. And when you put it for a nollie flip, a lot of people are gonna be different depending on how they flick for a switch flip or anything. It's either gonna be right here. I know a friend who does it right here. I personally do it around like a, kind of like a kick flip looks. But what you're gonna do is after you pop, you're gonna flick it. You're gonna make sure you get a nice flick out at least to this area right here. This is the golden area. If you flick it right too much on the angle, it's gonna fly backwards. You don't want that to happen. It's not gonna flick. If you flick it too low, it's just gonna spiral. And you don't want that to happen because that's a straight nut. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I'm actually gonna show you a few knots right now so you know how I do them. think those are at least decent to you and you at least like them definitely learn try learning them they're not actually hard at all it's just the, like I told you the pop and the flick make sure you hit the golden area you gotta make sure you have a decent pop at least before you want to take it to that though so watch out and honestly if you feel comfortable with them you can take them to curves definitely take them to curves and little stairs like two stairs and after a while you're just gonna mainly worry about the pop when you're trying it off of stair sets because it's a pretty uh, gnarly trick to try, but um, you can definitely learn different varieties like not only backside flip, not only frontside flip, that one's trouble. What's up, man? But uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a good trick to learn. It's definitely not a normal trick and it's definitely out of the basics. So learn it and it's really good. And um... uh, If you really like these videos, make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, if you're really thinking about any other trick, let us know. My filmer will let me know. We'll get down on some trick tips. Uh, just let us know. Hit the like button again. Make sure you double like. Make sure you hit the bell so you know notifications. And we try to release videos at least two times a week. So just know Sundays and Wednesdays be ready. So later.